It was originally set in May, but as we all know, most things in 2020 didn't go as planned. But we couldn't end the final chapter of this chaotic year without honoring our men and women in blue. On Tuesday, the Guam Police Department conducted their annual service award ceremony at the Hock of Baton building in Tamuning. Earning the highest honor of Police Officer of the Year was Officer Susie Santos. I was really, really shocked. I consider myself an underdog in the police department. So to be selected, it's an honor and it is very humbling. It took me a while to take it all in. Um, I think today is when it's really like um, coming out, I guess, the excitement of it all. And um, after the whole year of the COVID and the struggles that came with it, um, for me, this is like a highlight for 20. Santos has been serving in the police force for 15 years. Also earning the award for civilian of the year was Ernanita Lajato. I know that the committee take um, careful thoughts and consideration into choosing because there's a lot of very hardworking and um, deserving employee of the GPD and to be chosen as a civilian of the year is a really uh, an honor and uh, I'm very grateful and thankful. Both women expressed the stress accompanied by the pandemic that brought both fear of catching and spreading the virus, but said they continue to stand firm in their purpose to protect the well-being of the community. Officer Santos described the unique challenges of balancing health and safety practices while performing her duties. I think doing all that on top of our mission made it just a little bit more complicated and a lot harder um, to fulfill our mission. Don't let your fears dictate how you're going to move forward. Don't let the COVID-19 hold you down. As we honor our top guns here at GPD, we also thank the men and women in blue for fighting on the front lines in our war against COVID. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matanani.